Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you are new here, what's up with you? Um, if you knew, you should be ashamed. You should have been here. Returning viewers, hey, y'all. Channel members, what's at? What's at? What's at? Okay, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and get into Miss Lotto. Apparently, Lotto, Miss Cheetah Print Queen, Miss um, Big Mama, aka Miss Hot Sausage. Um, she's on here um, shading Ice Spice again. Okay. It, at this point, it's getting played out. Last week, she was clowning her um, music. And now she's saying that Ice Spice is copying her again. So in her recent um, music video, Ice Spice is a recent music video. She dropped a music video for her sorry ass song called Papa. The song is awful. It's some shit. And um, basically, um, Lotto was calling out Ice Spice for stealing her costume. So in case you all do not know, but Lotto's entire brand is the cheetah print thing, right? But Ice Spice was basically clowning Lotto in her video about wearing cheetah print outfit. And then that's when Lotto posts a picture of um, the evil, you know, twin meme. And I'm just like, okay, y'all need to stop. Like, it's just getting corny. It's getting lame. It's getting played out. And y'all both look childish now. I don't think that this beef is entertaining. I don't think that, it, that it's funny. I don't think that it's cool or interesting. I just think that it's very lame. And it's given like they're using each other's name for like, you know, PR because they know that the blogs are going to report on it. Okay. And boost their name in the media. But y'all just look silly. Okay. I feel like low key, Lotto and Ice Spice want to be friends. Yep. Lotto wants to be Ice Spice's friend. You can tell um, by the way that they move around each other. Okay, they cannot do an interview without mentioning each other. They can't do a song without mentioning each other. They can't do an Instagram post without mentioning each other. They're besties. Yes, they are besties. Okay, I can see them doing music. Okay, and I feel like low key, um, I Spice really wants to be Lotto, Lotto's friend because, um, you know, she ran away all her friends in the industry now. So she's going to go around to Lotto and try to be cool with Lotto because, you know, Cleo left her, Baby Storm left her, um, you know, everybody's leaving her. Okay. The industry has turned on Ice. Okay. Um, I mean, obviously it's Ice's fault, but no shade but girl this is just crazy every time we turn around it's a new sneak disc like okay what's going on but yeah comment down below are you all tired of the pr stunts um are you all tired of the besties who just you know can't admit that they want to be best friends yeah okay comment down below we're gonna move on to this next topic because as far as i see it no i'm not even gonna say that on youtube i'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real pg 13 today okay bro pg yeah oh wow um it seems like drake okay was actually offered the halftime show before wayne was okay in 2020 and 2021 um there's been some reports that have came out and leaked this leaked this information um now i wonder why drake declined okay is it because he feels like he um is too good for the super, for the super bowl okay that could be another reason you know drake is very big-headed these days um what's the tea why would you decline drake all right um, I don't know. I feel like low key Drake will be great at the halftime show. He'll be really good. Right now, there's so much conversation around the halftime show, y'all. It's crazy. But people are basically saying like, "Oh, Kendrick Lamar is bragging about the halftime show, right?" The whole time Drake got offered um, many times prior. Okay, so yeah, Drake, you you know, and get it this year. But baby, I've been I've been got that offer, baby. I've been had that, had that offer. Okay. Now, in my opinion, I feel like. Drake doing the halftime show, he 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 will do good. Okay, um, they should have picked Drake and then Drake brought out Young 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 Money. Okay, Nicki, all right, uh, Wayne. Okay, that would have been a cute little moment for sure. But you know, I think that Drake didn't do it probably because there was a lot of um, conversation around you know the Colin Kaepernick situation. So I feel like maybe he was you know standing in you know solitude with Colin Kaepernick because. You know, it was the NFL has came a long way from where it was. All right. They hired Jay-Z to do the dirty work for them. OK, um, you know, to be the voice of the black people, to have more representation. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's a whole it was a whole a lot of tea going on. OK, but I guess Drake was trying to do it for a bigger purpose. But then again, I don't know. Maybe Drake is like, you know what? I don't care about the Super Bowl like that. I don't really care what that which I got going on. OK, um, I want to have my money and I want to go home. Okay, so I get that. But yeah, it's crazy to see that. You know, so many people were clowning Drake recently for Kendrick Lamar getting a halftime show. Baby, I already got that. Okay, three years ago. 
Okay. But yeah, let's move on to this next topic. Congratulations to Nikki number one. Okay. She got herself her low key deal, XDTLR. So if you haven't copped your DTLR low key sneaker collab, go ahead and get your ass to the damn store. Okay. And cop you some shoes. Okay. Now, this is a really big collab because um, this is a, you know, like she's in all stores of dtlr this is a major launch she had an event in cleveland ohio and she was celebrating the launch and she was doing some meet and greets okay um who went who was there i know some people tried to go but by the time they were waiting in line all that time she had left okay yes she had left um so that was crazy to see but yes, y'all, how do y'all feel about that? Um, I'm here for the shoes. You know, I've been love the shoes. I already, I'm, you know, I, y'all know, y'all, y'all know what's up, okay? But yes, um, and if you are going in person, which shoes are you going to get? Let's chat, let's chat. But yes, so moving on, I want to go ahead and get into this um, tea about the, you know, the blogger, Nosy, okay? Um, she, Nicki Minaj actually did a drug test, okay? And they had to test a hair follicle, follicle for um, COKE, okay? And guess what happened, y'all? The test came back negative, okay? Yes, came back negative, all right? And I'm not shocked at all, okay? All those rumors of people saying, oh, Nikki does this, Nikki does that, Nikki does the white, Nikki does the white. Um, If she did the white, she would be skinny and really hyper, okay? I mean, and I mean, like, I'm just, this This just goes to show you that all these years of people calling her a sea head, it's been debunked. She took a drug test, they tested her hair, and she never did it a day in her life. Nikki has never done that stuff, okay? And it's been proven to y'all. So every time I see the C word allegations in the, in the comments, it's not, you, you, you're running, you're running out, of, out, of, out of drags. You're running out of lies to spread, okay? So yes, Nicki Minaj has beat the allegations. Well, honestly... I don't even. I, I never believed allegations. Okay, I never did, cause like you, it's just she. She doesn't even have the behavior of a sea head. You see what I'm saying? To be, you know, what I'm saying? I don't know. She she doesn't even act like she'd be on that. You know that stuff. I feel like people just really for the past couple of years they have been really like you know, just trying to put out any lie to make Nicki Minaj look crazy or look like she's spiraling out or going going bad or she's you know oh my gosh she's on drugs now y'all people run with any lie these days just to make themselves feel better about themselves and feel better about you know somebody else's success you know when people start to spread lies that's how you know you win it okay it's one thing if you can spread some truth all right fine cool right but if you spread on fake lies yo you really is sick like you really on something for real and you need to be investigated okay you need to be shut down okay um i'm just being real here now i feel like low-key no shade but nikki um you know i don't think she would ever do those things i'm just being real here and i know people in the industry do those things yes but i don't think nikki is going to be you know wanting to be doing all that you know stuff okay i'm just being honest here i'm just gonna keep it a bean okay um, yes, comment down below. What's your opinion on that? I mean, but we've been new. We we've been knew what the truth was, though. We've been clocked that tea, and we've been woke it up. Okay, but yes, let's move on into this next topic. Okay, all right, child. Moving on to Cardi. Okay, she is coming. Yes, Cardi B's YouTube page. Okay, has added up. All right, some new videos to the account. Now, people are saying that she has a visual album coming out or maybe these are just lyric videos that are going to be releasing soon they're saying she's going to be dropping a surprise visual album okay um or just maybe you know all the lyric videos will be coming out on her youtube channel but basically they are saying that all of the music is done and ready to go okay that's the word on the street that's the mf word okay now me personally um if you already have the songs done and the album is done and you're already at the phase where the album has been turned in and uploaded to the YouTube channel, um, no shade, but um, I feel like you don't have a hit out right now. You don't have a hit song out right now. And since you don't have a hit song out right now, that means that your album's going to flop. Yeah. And no shade, but Atlantic is not going to put no money behind you, baby, especially if your recent singles have been flopping so if your album is gearing up to do a launch and a surprise release you know that's like no shade but 
it's not looking good for you. Now, in case you all do not know what's going on, but there are videos that are uploaded to Cardi B's YouTube channel, but the videos are privated, okay? And they're in preparation for the album coming out. But who knows, okay? Maybe, just maybe, um, it ain't coming out no time soon. But my theory is, since they're already uploaded to the channel, wouldn't that mean that the damn album is on the way soon? Yeah, okay. Um, people are saying that we have until October 11th, which is actually her birthday. Because um, she's been teasing the number 11 for the past, like, child, a long time. It's been, like, she's been doing it for a little minute now, okay? I'm like, okay. But do you all feel like Cardi B's album is actually going to do well? Okay, I think first week she's going to get, like, what? Maybe, like, 45K. No shade. I'm thinking 45K only because, like, I feel like, like I said, nobody's selling anymore. Okay. Um, her label, they're going bankrupt, allegedly. So they won't have as much of a higher budget to, you know, work with artists like Cardi B. But many people feel like she's going to do 100 k okay, um, first week. No, you're crazy. Because if she knew she was going to do 100 k her album would have been out. She knows she's not going to do those numbers anymore. So she's kind of like stalling the release of the project. Um, no shade. Okay. Um, Atlantic needs to let this be the final decision if she's going to have her um, career under Atlantic, okay? No shade. I'm just being real here. Because it's at a point now where it's like, girl, all right, you aren't getting no real, you know, traction right now. And I feel like Atlantic, uh, you know, they don't want to lose money at this point, okay? Because they have dropped over 50 artists from their label. Yes, 50 artists have been let go. Okay, so, child, Cardi B, you better, you, she got to prove to the label she's worth it, okay? She got to prove to Atlantic that she can, you know, sell some records, okay? Because right now, it's giving, girl, you can't even sell a lollipop to a kid, all right? Moving on to Megan Thee Stallion, y'all, okay? So, it seems like Megan is out here. Um, she is shading Nicki Minaj in her recent Instagram post, okay? She's saying how she had the most viewers on the VMAs. And Nicki Minaj couldn't do it, okay? That's basically what she's saying. She said in the past four years, thank you, hotties, for making this happen. Um, she's on here bragging about VMA viewers, um, okay? But she has yet to thank her fans for her album numbers coming out. She has yet to address those first week sales for that album, okay? But she's on here thanking her fans for VMA viewers when half of the people who watched the VMAs wasn't even because of you, Okay, stop. Because when I Google VMA performances, you don't even have the most views for the damn show. So you can't be that in demand, okay? Stephen and Carpenter, Katy Perry, yeah, they all have more views than you, boo. So stop acting like you was the it girl of the show. You weren't, okay? And I'm not saying that she was, you know, low, because she got, she still got some pretty good views after the, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel like she's acting like she's the reason why and she's doing better than Nikki. And, you know, it's like she keeps trying to, like, taunt Nikki and make it seem like, oh, Nikki, you ain't doing much. You ain't doing nothing, okay? I can do it better than you. Okay, I feel like she's trying to, you know, push this narrative that she's taking Nikki's spot. Well, honestly, girl, no. No, no, no. I'm just being very honest here. I don't think that's what's going on at all, okay? And y'all may call me crazy, but no, okay? Now, I do feel like, you know, people bragging about VMA viewers, you're crazy, you y'all out here bragging about VMA views? What did, what what did that album do? What did that album do first week, Megan? Okay, I'm just being real here. I'm not trying to be messy. I ain't trying to start no drama. I ain't trying to start no drama. But I just feel like you know if you're gonna go in here and brag about something, let's make sure that you are outdoing every aspect of that person if you want to brag. Okay, stop. Okay, Rock Nation got her head gassed up. That's what they're saying. Okay, that's what the streets are saying. Okay, don't hate the reporter. Okay hate the gossipers all right but no on a serious note on a serious note um i think people are doing too much over this vma thing i think that the vmas like nobody cares about the vmas except for the week of the vmas and nobody goes around and says oh well i had the highest vma views nobody brags about that like you know how crazy you will sound in person if you go up to somebody and say why is somebody the best rapper and you bring up vma views you know how crazy they're gonna look at you you're gonna be look like you're gonna be look like a dork People are going to think you are a dork. Because who keeps track of that anyway? All right, y'all. Moving on to Miss Katy Perry, okay? Now, Katy Perry, she has came out, dropped her new song with Dolce. Yes, yes, yes. And people like it. But the song is not performing that well. The views on YouTube are flopping. Okay, what's going on here? And um, it's not really charting on Spotify. 
Okay, so that's the topic of conversation right now. People are like, why is Katy Perry flopping left and right? Now, if I'm being honest here, if I'm being honest, I feel like this song is one of her one of her better singles from her new album, 143. Um, the other songs was not, it was not doing it for me. I don't know what it was, but it just felt very like I'm trying to like show that I still got it type music versus trying to be innovative and, you know, push a new envelope. But it's like, okay. I still got it. I can still make a hit and like making like, you know, music that's geared towards being a hit, you know, but Dochi, she does a pretty good job at saving the song on this, on this project right here. Um, I'm his, he's mine, but I feel like it's really lazy sampling when it comes to the la da di la da da part. It's just very lazy. Like they sound tired at that part. Like it was 4am in the studio. La da di. Like it's just, no, it wasn't really quite eating it for me. Okay, that's just my personal opinion. That's just how I feel, okay? But um, everything else is pretty fine. But I just don't understand why um, it's not popping right now on the charts. It's not doing but well. But most likely it's going to, you know, rise, um, you know what I'm saying, on the charts and stuff. So we're going to see how that goes. We're going to see with C. Yes, we're going to see with C. But, I mean, yeah, comment down below. Now, question. Do you all feel like Dolce um, saved the song as well? I feel like she did. I feel like low-key Dolce saved the song real, 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 real real bad okay let's move on to this next topic child did y'all hear that rihanna is being shaded by naomi cannibal and law roach okay um this is crazy um so at a fashion event rihanna walked by naomi campbell just stared at her and didn't give her no hug no attention okay people feel like there's some beef between the two people and um law roach also didn't get any type of acknowledgement when rihanna walked in and they are bitter and this is what they did after the event okay like out. the other girls we don't come with our tatas out or our chi chis out very demure very nice very cutesy you don't give too much you just give a little it's not about showing yourself it's about showing the pose very demure very cutesy very mindful very nice so basically they were shading rihanna for you know showing up to the event you know clothes hanging off her body basically and they were just mad that she didn't acknowledge them but I feel like this video was very petty, very childish. I think Law Roach and Naomi Cannibal are very iconic people in the industry. But when you are iconic and you come for other iconic people, that's just very weird to me. I don't know. Like, no shade. You know you're powerful when your silence has people making videos about you online because you didn't speak to them at a fashion event and you didn't give them any attention and you have them out here making videos about your outfit. That's just very, very weird to me. But, you know, Rihanna is, is real classy now. She's a billionaire, so she don't have time to respond to the antics and the BS games like that right now. You know, she, she just got too much going on for herself right now to even be involved with those type of activities. Okay, so, yeah. But comment down below. How do you feel about this? Do you all feel like it was kind of weird, a little bit strange? Like, why are you out here, you know what I'm saying, being messy for it? What you being messy for? And it's always a gay man behind the, like, the messy stuff. You know what I mean? Like, girl. Like, you know, then, like, come on, come on now. Okay, but no, um, let's move on to this next topic. All right, child, moving on to Beyonce. As you all know, she has this new whiskey called Sir Davis. Okay, and Sir Davis has been doing pretty well. It's been selling out and it's low in stock everywhere. It is a craze right now. And people are just simply enjoying it. I mean, like, I feel like Beyonce's um, whiskey brand is actually, you know, going to do well. Okay, I feel like it's going to be the best brand that she released this year. Okay, I'm just being real with you. Um, many people have just been ordering it up, ordering it up. I mean, it's a really, really strong um, drink. Okay, so if you're ordering it, you want to get toe up to the flow up. Okay, you want to be, yeah, okay, hangover next day. Okay, yeah. But congratulations, Beyonce, okay? People saying, oh, it's a cash grab. Well, this cash grab must be working, okay? But yes, comment down below. What's your opinion? What's your opinion, okay? But yeah, I'm going to see you on the next one. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, tap the bell so you can get an alert every single time I post. All right, y'all, I'm going to see you on the next one. Be safe.